Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be putting back on our on-chain analysis hat. We're really gonna look at the HODL waves or HODL waves, depending on what you wanna call it. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the HODL waves for Bitcoin are interesting because it allows us to identify trends in wallets holding Bitcoin for various amounts of time. For instance, we could do things like we can hide everything and then just look at perhaps wallets that have been holding Bitcoin for one to three months. We could isolate, say, between, say, one to two years. And what you'll notice is that there tend to be mania phases and bear markets. And you'll see some similar trends in, or, or some interesting trends in terms of how the HODL waves behave. For instance, in a bull market, right, you'll generally see this go down. In a bear market, you'll generally see this go up, right? So bull market here in, in the price as, the, as the, the percentage of Bitcoin being held in wallets or in addresses between, you know, holding it for one to two years, you can see this went down, this sort of bottom just after the peak, and then it started going up and, and peaked right after the bottom. And then it started going down until, you know, really until just after that, that first major peak. And then ever since then, it's more or less just been going up. Okay. Now, I think this is interesting track because it really does give an idea of who's taking profits and who's actually who's actually potentially getting in. For instance, one of the things we could do is we could just isolate long-term holders. So these would be people that have held Bitcoin for at least six months, so six months or more. One of the things you'll notice is that it, in a bear market, it really starts to plateau and then it just goes sideways for a while. Then as the bull market gets going, you can see it comes down into that market cycle top. And then it goes back up into a bear market and then just goes sideways in the accumulation phase. So you can see the end of the bear market over here into the accumulation phase, long-term HODL waves were, were basically just flat, that plateau. You can see it again here in this market cycle as well. And then currently you can see that it's plateaued and we're just going sideways. So it can generally take a while uh, after this plateau that, that to finish up the bear market and then to get through the accumulation phase. But you can also see that a lot of long-term holders took profits during that first peak over here rather than the second peak. On the contrary, if you look at, say, short-term holders, it tells a very different story. So with short-term holders, you'll actually see them peak around price peaks, right? Because that's when all the, the the late retail money is coming into the market, right? So when when the when this is going up, that's generally a good time to take profits. Okay. And when it's going down and 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 in a downtrend, that's generally when ideally is you're you're slowly accumulating a position and then just waiting for the next bull market where the short term the percentage of Bitcoin being held by short term holders starts to go back up again. And then the general idea is that you you sell into that strength of all that new new money coming into the market. And, and then eventually that new money gets exhausted and, and it can no longer support those higher prices. And then we come back down and then and then people become less interested in Bitcoin once again. And, and then this sort of just goes back to background noise. So we can kind of see this play play out over and over and over again. And it'll likely continue to play out for, you know, for many more cycles to come. But I did think this was an interesting way to look at, at Bitcoin. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Make sure you subscribe and check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. See you guys next time.